Hello, this is artist, entrepreneur, and art educator, Eric McRae. Uh, the question was presented, how do you get recognized as an artist in your own hometown? Um, it's, it's pretty a simple answer. Um, the issue is art is about people. And a lot of times, unfortunately, um, when you're in your own hometown, you're not seen as, as brilliant or as amazing as you may be because everybody's so familiar with you. Let's go to the Bible. Jesus goes to his hometown. He goes to preach the gospel. And the locals say, hey, you're the carpenter's son. You know, you, you can't be the son of God. You, who are you? You know, so they dismiss him. Uh, there was little faith. There was no miracles. Nothing happened. Okay. So that's obviously a, 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 a great example of how you can be overlooked in your own hometown uh, where you're literally doing miracles over here and, and changing lives in your own hometown. People have no faith in you. I, I experienced some of that where you're seen as a rock star in your hometown, which I, I was in Washington, D.C., but at the same time, same time, it still could be, uh, you know, you're just Marjorie's kid. Uh, you live over on such a street, you're no big deal. So here's the thing where you have to kind of find a middle ground where you now all of a sudden, you have to look at his business. And one of the key things they teach you in business, if you're selling something, or you're going to, let's say, be a multi-level marketing business. What's one of the first things they always say to people is, uh, contact all your friends and your family. And that's a little bit of, it's a great truth in that when you're talking about business is because you have a warm market. When you, all of a sudden, somebody takes you and drop you off in uh, Alaska and you don't know a blessed soul, you, you have nothing to work from. They don't know you, so they don't have the bias of not of knowing you. They're like, but at the same time, they don't know you, so they have no reason to even acknowledge you. We're in your own hometown because you have a warm market of people, your aunts, uncles, your neighbors, the people you went to high school with. You then immediately have a whole range of people that you have an opportunity to razzle dazzle. Now, you got to give them reason to look up and pay attention and see that you're somebody special. You can't bring them mediocrity and expect greatness. So you must bring your A game to impress the people around you so they can then acknowledge you as an individual and it's a very grassroots movement that you can do through social media, having events. It's like the old Tupperware party thing, you know. My aunt was in Tupperware and she made a killing. She got a company car and everything. Every time, I think everybody in my family and everybody I knew had piles and piles of Tupperware. We still have some of that stuff. Lasts forever. But the point was, my aunt was tremendously successful in Tupperware. And I'd say your art career is Tupperware, but we're talking about business. Business is business. I don't care what you're selling. Um, uh, Jay-Z, I'm going from Jesus to Jay-Z. But Jay-Z was a crack dealer in New York and New Jersey. And he used the same concepts to build his career as a hip-hop uh, star and to sell uh, CDs and cassette tapes. Same way he used to sell crack business is business. Um, so um, not condoning crack selling for those out there who are quite puritanical. Um, but at the same time, you can then, you're so familiar with all these people and they know you, you have to give them incentive to do business with you, to buy your art, buy your prints, use your photography services, whatever it is, let you shoot the photos for their wedding or their bar mitzvah to do whatever. I mean, if you started a catering business, it'd be the same thing. Everybody knows you. So you're not anybody exceptional, but they're familiar enough to know you, to trust you, to give you an opportunity, a chance. And that's all you want is a chance to give a good impression and to be able to impress people enough that they say, wow, you are talented. This is a great painting. Or, you know, I love your music or whatever about you. Yeah, yeah. We want you to play the music for our, our graduation party. Whatever the thing is that you do. Oops, I went across the camera. But so bottom line is that that's how you go about winning your getting acknowledgement in your own hometown. And the same way, you know, you social media, you able to contact local media outlets to promote. And then like anything, you market and sell your product or services. If you're a plumber, you know, you put your magnetic on your vehicle and you go out and let everybody know that 
uh, you are, have plumbing services or lawn care or whatever. Say with your artist, you're a graphic designer, uh, you do whatever. You let people know these services are now available and you need to get out there and hustle. And I would suggest using things like uh, Facebook ads, uh, Instagram ads, uh, using email, uh, building a Facebook page. Oh, there I go again. I did it again. Oops, sorry, folks. Um, and then, um, you know, be your Facebook page, your website, all those things that are, you know, uh, uh, pretty standard nowadays that a lot of artists and a lot of professionals still don't take seriously. Uh, they totally underestimate uh, the power of social media and different outlets like LinkedIn, Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, uh, YouTube. I mean, all those things. I mean, people want to see how your, your experience as an artist or as a creative or as a business person. So that would be how I would say to first thing is go after your warm market and get a book. I read a book called Selling for Dummies. It really gives you an idea about how to sell. And selling is not talking, 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 telling everybody how great you are and how awesome your art is, but finding out really what people want and what makes them happy and um, providing to a certain extent what people want. Um, and then being able to find a happy medium where you're happy and they're happy. And then the bottom line, uh, capitalism kicks into play and then you get paid and they get paid and everybody's smiling. So um, that's my, my answer to that question of how you get acknowledged in your own hometown. You're already well known. It's just a matter of who you're trying to approach. And then over time, um, opportunity will present itself for you to have bigger and bigger opportunities. But you have to work your business every day. And before you know it, you'll be where you never imagined you could be. So follow me on Instagram, Twitter, uh, LinkedIn, all my social media platforms. These videos specifically are on LinkedIn, YouTube, and Facebook. Uh, go to my website and make sure you subscribe, make sure you follow, and we appreciate your support and keep in touch. Take care.